Morning everybody, Stats with that Stonker here guys. Today, it is Monday morning. And uh, it's, a, it's a little later than usual. I guess not really for this time of year. It's like 7.30. Uh, but obviously during the summer, I like to start at seven. But I've been working out at a six and those run until about 6.50ish. So it's gonna be hard this year because I'm gonna stick to the working out. So I'm gonna have to figure out. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to start as early as I want to this, this season, but it's okay. We'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we get there for now. It's okay, we'll start in later in the day. But anyway, hopefully you guys are all doing great. As you can see, we just got hooked up to the trailer. Today we're gonna to be doing some scalping. If you guys don't know what scalping is, uh, down south we've got the Bermuda, and the Bermuda needs to be scalped in the springtime, which is basically cutting the grass in the lowest setting, bagging it, and uh, hauling off the clippings so the grass has a fresh layer to grow through in the spring. Um, I, I highly recommend it. But most, a lot of people choose to pass because scalping is a double charge because it takes double the time to do it. Um, but yeah, so we're doing that today. Being solo today, we'll pro I think we're gonna have help tomorrow and we're gonna possibly have help this weekend and all of next week. So we'll have to see, uh, fingers crossed that we will because we got a lot of work we need to do before I leave on the trip, which is next Thursday, the 16th or 17th, whatever next Thursday is. But we are going to, so I gotta change the oil on the 36 real quick, and then we're gonna load up and head off. So I guess let's uh, pull the trailer out and get this shop cleared so we can change the oil. All right guys, so I just got the mower a little bit warmed up, which is what you wanna do before changing the oil. I'm sure most of you guys know how to change the oil, but some people ask me, um, how do I do it? So I figured now's a perfect chance, but so I've got a little tube, a little hose, and uh, this hose basically just connects to that little fitting right there. If you can see that and uh, just push it on there basically. Ugh, sometimes it's hard. There we go. So you see, I got the hose on the fitting now i just got to get a socket and uh loosen this nut right here and the oil is going to start to flow down and it's going to be flowing mm. be flowing down into the oil catch pan of course so uh let's do that i got a little socket on this on the uh, nut down there and uh, we're just going to crack this sucker open man and uh, there you go you guys can see it the oil's funneling down the tube. And right into the pan. There it is. Alright, then once it's done, I'm not sure if you can see, but you're gonna close this little cap back up. Get it hand tied and then I like to just give it a little bit of a nudge with the socket. Ugh, just hold it on there a little bit tighter. Um, you're gonna take the hose off and there you go. You got the empty, you emptied out the oil. So let's take this off. Okay, so next we're going to take the oil filter off. You don't have to do this, but I like to dab some oil some old oil just grab some right here and uh just run it around the seal just so it's easier next time so the seal doesn't uh get stuck on there but I take the old oil filter off and i have this little bendy type thing it's pretty neat actually you can bend it into place it's like a funnel and i like to put it underneath the oil filter housing and then so if anything falls out it just catches it and goes straight down. It's gonna twist off the oil filter you can see it's cat this funnel's catching all that extra oil that would otherwise be making a mess this is really a personal preference but I like to fill it up a little bit and let it soak in to the filter so it kind of primes it uh, you don't really have to do that, but that's just what I've always done and I just kind of swish it around a little bit And then I will dab it onto the new filter or twist it onto the 
engine and voila we got a new filter if I can get it there we go this is something that you do not want to cross thread because <laughs> that would not be cheap pretty sure you'd have to get a whole new engine if you cross threaded that but okay check that out I basically left no mess behind so I think this engine takes about a quart and a half but we're gonna put one quart check it and uh, see what else we need all right guys so we got about like 2.8 quarts in there and as you can see that is perfect so we are good to go all i need to do is uh reset the hour meter which is very easy all you gotta do is hold down this button once i get to the engine in 50 hours four hours yeah either way we're gonna hold it down until that says 100. There you go. And if you let go, check it out. Engine in 100 hours. So we are good to go. All right, so we are loaded up. Got the mower in the trailer, letting it kind of cycle through that fresh oil. And uh, we're gonna head to the first yard. So we will catch you guys when we get there. So we're at the first yard and uh, we're gonna get the scalping. Luckily, we cut it short last at the end of last year. Uh, pretty soon we're gonna be cutting this down and replacing it with a crate myrtle and we're also gonna be doing mulch here cleaning out all this stuff uh, probably in the coming weeks but yeah got everything let's get to going Alright guys, so we got the first one done and all scalped up. Took us eh, took us about 45 minutes to an hour. And uh yeah, good to go. Scalped ready for spring. So we're gonna head to the next one and uh four there's four more small ones like this, and then I have a pretty big, decent sized one, which is why of course I bought the I brought the right with me. Um but yeah, for now, it's gonna be small and easy yards to start the season off, so see you at the next one. All right, guys, so we're at the next one, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna get to mowing. Scalping, I think I'm gonna use a 36 on this one because I have it with me. It fits through the back gate, so that'll be easiest. So we'll figure it out. Let's get going.
All right, so we got the second one done. Took me about an hour here also. So I think these yards are gonna take about an hour because some of them were double cutting and you know, we gotta bag them, take longer. But no worries, we are gonna head to the next one. I'm not gonna record the next one, but I record the one after that. And then probably the last two. So we'll see you guys. I'll see you in a second. For me, it'll be like an hour. See you in about a second. Hey, what's up everyone? So it is currently noon and uh, I got this, got four yards done so far. So I started about nine, so four scalps, three hours solo, not bad. But I'm actually at this place where we mow. It's a, an office building that we do. It's a little commercial. They let me use their uh, trash can. So I went ahead, threw a couple bags of grass in the trash can, and now I'm gonna sit here and eat lunch. I brought me a uh, little soda, a sandwich, and then some sweetened and dried pineapples. So I made a resolution this year to uh, to eat better, I guess, eat, to eat out is less, especially during work, because guys, last year I spent a lot of money on work eating out, uh, eating out during work. So I decided this year I'm gonna try, try my best to bring my own lunch and save money. And it just takes way less time. to. I can just stop somewhere and eat. I don't have to go into a restaurant or anything. I just got it right here. I can eat in front of the house if I wanted to, the next house. But I'm gonna eat here since there's no one around and I just kind of relax for the next 30 minutes or so. And then we're gonna head to, we got two more yards. One of them is a big corner lot that I'll be using the ride on. And then the other one is a smaller yard that will be push mowing. So we'll catch you guys after lunch. All right guys, so we're at the next yard and uh, you guys saw this one a few months ago. We did a, uh, a leaf clean up here. So we're gonna be scalping this. Only have the 36 with me, but it'll be fine. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the fescue that I showed you, but that saw didn't do very well, did it? It all, all kind of died, but she told me to go around the fescue. So we're gonna do that and uh, get it going. So then we're gonna start in the back and then work our way to the front. So let's get it done. So we just got this one all scalped up. Uh, I just recorded the mowing. I didn't want to record the weeding or anything else. Just too time consuming on this yard. But hey, if you ask me, looks pretty dang good. Got to cut down to one and a half inches, I think it is. 1.25. And uh, yeah, it's uh, ready for spring. But the next one, the last one is right around the corner. So see you there. Next and last one. 
and it's about 2 30 or 3 so it'll be perfect timing but take about an hour be down here around 4 and uh yeah but we're scalping scalping it up so let's get it done Alright guys, so we got this last one finished up. As you can see, scalp, scalped. Uh, I'm not gonna go to the back because it's kind of far. And I'm pretty tired, man. Scalping really takes it out of you. I'll say that. But uh, we're gonna head back to the shop. And uh, actually, I wanna see what time it is. Yeah, it's about four o'clock. So I, I guessed right. But we're gonna head back to the shop and uh, I'm gonna throw these bags over to the dump trailers. So see you when we get there. All right, what's up guys? So we are back at the shop. We are done for the day. And uh, before I end this video, just wanna give you guys some words of encouragement and maybe even myself, but I got rejected today guys by a customer. Um, I sent a bid on Friday for a pretty big landscape job and uh, customer said, no, we're gonna go a different route. We're gonna use a different company. So I said, hey, okay, thank you. You guys have my contact info and uh, holler if that changes. So guys, you can't get butt hurt by that. Clients are gonna do what's best for them, what's best for their budget, um, as most people will do that. And so if they can't afford you, then it's okay. Guys, don't get butt hurt by it. Respectfully say thank you and tell them to reach back out if they have any issues or they need something fixed because guys, I've been called out a lot of times on people who went with a cheaper quote and I've been called out a lot of times to fix what they've done a lot, especially in irrigation when it comes to like sprinkler repair and stuff. I've been called out a lot to fix stuff like that. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys words of encouragement. And in this business, guys, you gotta learn to do with rejection because that is a big part of it. And uh, it's okay, you gotta learn, you gotta let it go, guys. And you cannot let, let it affect you. Can't let it affect your mood, your day, your business, guys. Millions of customers out there and uh, people will pay your price because you know your worth and people will see the value in it. But anyway, there's my words of encouragement for today. Hopefully guys all enjoyed this video. I am beat, guys. I'm dusty, dirty. I can't wait to take a shower. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be amazing. Um, but yeah, so I will be scalping tomorrow. I think I'm gonna have help. And then Wednesday, I'll be back solo. It's supposed to rain Thursday. And then Friday, I'll be back out solo. And then starting this weekend, Saturday through next Wednesday, I think I'll have help. And I might have two guys. So that would be nice. We're gonna try to get a lot of uh, mulch jobs and landscape jobs done before I leave next week. So. Fingers crossed guys, the weather cooperates. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We will see you in the next one. Peace out.